phase frequency should be 1600 gigahertz. 1600 gigahertz, exactly. Let's check the induction coils. You want to start with the left one or the right one? Start with the one on the left. Firing up the left coil now. Whoa, 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 Grim, Grim, I said the left one. I know, but you turned around, so your left is my right, right? No, oh, that's what I meant, your left. But that's not what you said. Oh, oh. Great, now I'm stuck. Power down the turret, Grimlock. Um, uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? And what's that whining sound? That would be the pulse condenser overloading. So, uh... Just checking here. Does that mean... The turret is going to explode and take us and half the scrapyard with it. Hey guys, I've got a new ch <gasps> What in the name of the primes? She said left and I thought she meant right and then the thing moved and now it's gonna blow up! <sighs> Phew! How'd you do that? Hmm, system reset code. I memorized it after I got stuck in one of those things. Ah, uh, what would you guys do without me? Well, we've been well-trained. I'm sure we would have found a solution. Nonetheless, I'm glad you were there. I'll always be there for the team. Heck, we're more like a family. Even Sideswipe? Every family has a crazy cousin. This is ridiculous. How come we're always waiting around for him? Because he's the boss. And the boss calls the shots. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Well, then maybe it's time somebody else became the boss around here. If you think you're qualified, Thunderhoof, then take your best shot. Otherwise, be silent and listen. Not everyone on this little hive of Decepticons is pleased with the current leadership. Some want to follow them off Earth. Others want to stay and rule it. We can use that division. We just need a little more support and a little more firepower. Somebody's coming! Steeljaw, just the con we're looking for. Come, walk with us. We'd like to have a word with you, if you're not too busy, that is. Not busy at all, just killing time. guys are just enshrined, entwined, in time. I'm ready to test our fully repaired ground bridge. Now with dual redundant vortex loops, phase lock thermal compensation, and twin geosynchronous. The ground bridge is working? As I was saying, twin geosynchronous, I forgot. Let me start over. I'm ready to test our fully repaired ground bridge. Fire it up already, fix it. No time like the present. Right. Here goes! Wow! Oh, cool! Nice work, fix it. Two portals? I'll get the one on the left! My love. Is it supposed to make two portals? Fix it! That's not possible. I mean, it's obviously possible because it's happening, but...
sound wave. Take fix it and hide in the stacks. Go! Don't run off so quick! I haven't given you the tour of my fists yet! Don't move, Decepticon! Hurts my team on my watch, Soundwave. Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! Huh? There's nothing I can do to help them. I'm stuck in the shadow zone. Think. What did Raph, Jack, and Miko do when they were stuck in the Shadow Zone? Their cell phones. Radio waves. Mayday. Mayday, this is Bumblebee. Does anyone read me? Just barely, Lieutenant. Oh, fix it. Thank the AllSpark. Are Russell and Denny with you? We're right here, B. Did you pound those Decepticons into scrap? Not quite yet. Where are you? Home furnishings. Left of the giant hamburger, past the Tower of TVs. Hey, guys. Glad you're all okay. Where are you? We can hear you on Fix-It's speaker, but we can't see you. I'm sorta... in another dimension. The only way I can communicate with you is over the comms. Whoa! How, how does that happen? When two ground bridge portals overlap, they open a channel to this... shadow zone. Oh, Lieutenant, th this is all my fault! I'm a complete Venice! Tennis! Menace! It was an accident, Fix-It. Something like this happened to friends of mine once. We used the same trick to trap Soundwave in the Shadow Zone. Until just now. That Decepticon back there is Soundwave? No. Who's Soundwave? One of the most dangerous Decepticons there is. Soundwave used to be Megatron's right-hand bot. He's a technical and tactical genius. Plus, Soundwave has a minicon named Laserbeak. But according to his log file, Soundwave was trapped in the Shadow Zone aboard the Starship Nemesis. What's he doing down on this planet? Maybe he followed Megatron back to Earth, then got stuck here when Megatron left. And he's just been wandering around the planet like a ghost this whole time? Ugh, creepy. But now the sound wave is free. What does he want? I saw him taking apart our communication system. My guess is he wants to contact Megatron. But Megatron is light years away. Any signal will take forever to reach him. Yes, but in the meantime, a message like that could bring every other Decepticon within range. Soundwave could raise an army. Okay, so how do we stop him? I don't know. Soundwave and Laserbeak are next to impossible to take down. With me stuck here and Strong and Grim captured. They have Strongarm and Grimlock? We can't just sit here. Russell's right. No one can help them but us. You're not listening. You can't outmuscle Soundwave. You don't even have any weapons. Look, just stay here until I come up with a plan. Lieutenant, we do have weapons! The laser turrets from the Alchemore that we converted for perimeter security! Yeah, let's see Soundwave stand up to the firepower of a whole Cybertronian starship. 
What part of next to impossible didn't they understand? We've been keeping an eye on you, Steeljaw. Your activities have not gone unnoticed. Is that so? You've been very busy around here, my friend. Very busy indeed. Which is why we'd like you to become part of our leadership team. In a support role, of course. Leadership team? Me? You don't have to answer yet. I'm sure it's a little overwhelming. Yes, uh, quite a surprise. I mean it. Do your best to stay out of the line of fire. Don't worry. If I get in trouble, I'll just... Serpentine. Please, you're making a huge mistake. We tried calling Optimus and his stealth team, B, but they didn't answer. There's no one to do this but us. If you were in our situation with our friends and maybe the whole planet at stake, can you honestly tell me you'd just sit and do nothing? I... <sighs> no. i take my best shot and do something. Let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that. I don't like this plan anymore. What's he building? It appears to be a sub, 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 subspace matrix antenna array. And it's almost complete. Couldn't we just shoot it from here? Maybe we could escape before Soundwave realizes that was us. And we wouldn't have to fight him at all. I like this plan much better. Fix it. Can you hit the array? <laughs> On second thought, let me. my dad time for another shot. Come on, Serpentine! No, oh, I can't look. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> 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 Good news, the armor works. Bad news, ow!
Lieutenant Bumblebee, if you're there, we're now following your suggestion and waiting for you to come up with a plan. We totally screwed up, B. We should have listened to you in the first place. No. You were incredibly brave. And you gave me an idea. Seriously? Seriously. Soundwave is using the ground bridge as a weapon, but he seems a little rusty creating the portals. Maybe from all the time he spent in the Shadow Zone. We can use that against him, but we'll need to get fixed to the ground bridge controls. <sighs> and to do that, I'll need to create a distraction. Somehow. I'll we'll do, do it. it! No. I'm team leader. I should figure something out and do it myself. Kills me sitting on the sidelines like this. B, we know you'd do whatever it takes if you could. But this time, you can't. I am honored by your offer. I shall try to live up to the faith you've placed in me. <laughs> hold, brother, hold. A position like this is not without cost. We need a show of good faith from you. We are told he plots against us. The brigand needs to learn there are better uses of his time. Teach him, won't you? Hmm. Excuse me, I'd like to have a word with you. Actually, more like a claw. Oh, yes. I think this chap will work out just fine. Hey, Stretch. Nice art project you got there. Is it? I want to be you right now, Soundwave. Humans, a Minicon, a Dinobot, and an Academy Cadet against Soundwave and Laserbeak? 
You realize that had about a 4% chance of working. You are forgetting one key member of the victorious team, Lieutenant. Are you kidding? I was useless over there. You came up with the winning plan. Even in another dimension, you found a way to be a great leader. Well, it wasn't. Come on, I mean, what is, you know? What he means is he couldn't ask for a cooler, awesomer, handsomer team to lead. Yeah, what Grimlock said. I've never seen this type of minicon working for Decepticons. The restrictor collars keep them from transforming or activating their weapons. Steeljaw, we need more powerful tools to discourage rebellion. The weapons in this compartment would be ideal, but we can't get the accursed thing open. We were hoping that someone as resourceful as yourself might succeed where we have failed. felt my strength returning in recent weeks, I'm swiping. But that is not the reason for my urgency. Gwenblade, are there any new readings? Initial reports are confirmed, Optimus. The security shield protecting one of my hidden supply caches has been engaged, but I can't tell if there's been a breach. Ready for combat at any moment, my students. Apart from the broken gate, I do not detect any obvious signs of activity. Proceed cautiously, stealth team. That way. Master Drift, Jetstorm was wondering. But we were wondering. We were wondering, respectfully, if you felt that we have progressed enough in our studies to perhaps begin making tactical decisions for ourselves. We have fought many Decepticons. We feel we are ready. Yeah, Drift. Little guys can't spend their whole lives at the end of your leash. My students will complete their training when I decide. And when I make that decision, I will not require assistance. Don't worry, guys. You're breaking them down. I can feel it. Autobots in Grid 14. <laughs> Excellent. Moving to Stage 2 of Operation Break-In. Perhaps they'll succeed where we could not. And then we'll claim our spoils and destroy them. Many of your cash has been compromised over the years. No, none. I've stashed weapons and supplies all over. My security systems have always held. Whatever security you put up doesn't look like it's still here, Wendy. I'll take the point in case something- ah! oh. oh, thank you for taking the point, Sideswipe. <laughs> what hit me? Look at the wall out of the corner of your eye. Tricky. Lightbenders in there keep the force field and the controls almost completely hidden. The field should be dark blue. It's taken light damage, but it hasn't been breached. An impressive collection. This is one of my larger stashes. Nothing appears to be missing. Is it safe to leave your supplies here? Should be. But I want to repair the force field before we go. 
Then we should see if anything in there might be of use to us when we- <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of peewee pushovers. I don't think even an army of them could dent my. Oh! Maintain fire, soldiers. Don't let the enemy catch its breath. Just what every general dreams of. A chance to prove himself against the best on the field of battle. We have to close the freezer door and reactivate the security system before these cons get in there and load up on even more weapons. Drift, you're the closest. Can you reach the door to close it? We shall try. Students, return to me. What did you say, Master? It is too loud. We will attack the enemy from their flank! in the freezer. Stop for lunch. Pushovers. Quickly. Attention, Autobots. This is General Stockade. In addition to our own firepower, we have copious amounts of ordnance raided from human military installations. You will either surrender and grant me immediate access to the weapon storage unit your injured comrade occupies, or you will all be destroyed. Consider your non-existent options. Do not take long. A reinforced bomb shelter. Keeping our enemies out, but trapping us inside. Optimus to drift and sideswipe. Are you all right? Yeah, sorta. I think we're in an armory, but all the weapons are long gone. The building's seriously reinforced, so Colonel Crackpot out there is gonna have a heck of a time getting in. What about Master Drift? Is he... I am inside Windblade's cache and the security system is active. However, I do not believe the Force Shield can withstand a sustained attack. Additionally, my legs have been damaged. 
It will be some time before I am able to walk. Understood. Sideswipe? I assume our enemy is keeping watch on our doors. How long would it take you to escape by other means? You mean carve my way out with my Decepticon Hunter? This place was built to hold off everything short of nuclear weapons. I'd say a couple hours, if I'm lucky. Yes, we would say the same here. Optimus to Scrapyard. Do you read me, Fix It? Optimus Prime, what a pleasant surprise. The surmise, the surprise. How are you? Is your weather pleasant? Here, it's sunny with a chance of- We are pinned down, Fix It. Can Bumblebee's team provide assistance? Negative, Optimus. Bumblebee and his team are on a mission, and interference at their location makes it impossible for me to contact them. Can you give us information on a Decepticon named Stockade? Stockade, the most decorated general in the Decepticon army. He tried to stage a military coup, but failed. The only time he was ever conquered in battle. Until you defeat him, of course. Thank you, fix it. I'll continue trying to contact Lieutenant Bumblebee. Please do. Optimus out. <sighs> Sounds like the best bot to ask for advice on our situation is on the other side. You forget, Windblade. I've been leading troops into battle for a long time myself. And I know a few things about tactics. Such as how to buy us some time while we plan our escape. <sighs> Drift, what's your status? Unchanged. I'm securing weapons from Windblade's cache in case Stockade's troops attack. Is there a base address device similar to the one Stockade is using in your location? Yes. Can you reach it? They've had enough time to make their decision. Prepare to fire! General Stockade, I speak to you from inside the weapon storage chamber. Finally! Among the items stored here is a doomsday device that can destroy this planet and all life on it. Let my teammates and me go and depart this place, or I shall detonate the device. He's bluffing. Run another scan on the cache. I don't hear any fighting. Huh. Major disaster must have gone for it. I would give anything to be in that storage chamber. As would I. What are you two talking about? Master Drift's injury and predicament are our fault. Because he saved you and took a hit? Knock it off. No, because he ordered us to undeploy onto him and we acted as if we did not hear him. If we had followed his order, perhaps he would not be hurt. We wanted to show we could operate on our own. As a result of our deceit, the Master is hurt and we have brought shame upon him. And ourselves. We would do anything to make up for our error. Big deal. You made a mistake. We'll get out of this. Promise me you won't try to fix things by staying with Drift your whole lives. You've got a right to make your own road. Minicons like you can choose to deploy from any Autobot that's willing to take you. You don't have to partner with Drift forever. What? What did I say? Any large energy signatures from inside there? Hup, hup, hup. Yo, Corporal Punishment! This is one of your prisoners in the building across the way! If you promise not to hurt me, I'll tell you everything I know about Autobots here on this planet. I think Slick has something up his arm plating. That's valuable intel! Bring that bot to me! Double time! But take all precautions. It could be a trick of some kind. Move it! Move it! Move it! Hi guys, how's the war going? Oh right, you're wondering where my friends went. Now we'll show you how the big bots do it. Base to field team, 
Why haven't you brought me that bot yet? Respond. Respond! Slick wouldn't let us down. Veal team, respond! Respond! Up, up. Up, up. Knew it was a bluff. Open fire! Hey Optimus, Wendy, room service. What's the plan? We could not disable the door's magnetic field block from inside. We're attempting to force it open. A little help would be appreciated, Slick. Your wish is my command. The field is down! Advance! Your minions will no longer threaten our master's stockade. They are nothing! Go through them! <laughs> Master Drift! Many thanks, Master. Good work, Sideswipe. Now stand clear. Someone's definitely feeling better. Come, the others need us. Fight you, gold bricks! I train you better than this! It's only one wounded Autobot and two juvenile minicons! Not only them, Stockade. Prepare to be defeated by your better Optimus Prime! Prepare to be deeply disappointed, Stockade. <laughs> Oh, God. 
Teach me those moves. soon. Master! Hey, Drift! Ow! Three times in one day? Excuse me, Sideswipe. I mistook you for another unintelligent enemy. Master Drift! I am well, Slipstream, Jetstorm. We will assist you. No, you performed admirably today, without my guidance. Your education is complete. You are no longer my students. Yes! But, Master Drift, we do not wish to be on our own. We wish to remain under your tutelage. What? Now that we have begun deploying from other Autobots, surely there are many new combat techniques you can teach us. Yes, 1,035 of them. Also, we ignored your earlier call to join with you so we could fight on our own. Clearly, we have not mastered respect. Please, may we stay with you? You may, but this trend of disrespect concerns me, and it will not be tolerated. Yes, teacher. I will never understand them. Anybody here need punching? Grimlock! We got back from our mission, and Fixit said we really needed to get the ground bridge working, because you were in trouble. He was correct. We have captives and supplies that would best be stored in the scrapyard. And our master is in need of repairs. Then let's start with you, Drift! No! Put me down! I can... How disrespectful. Autobots, the time has come to go home. locating our fugitive signal. If Arkhan knows anything about this Decepticon island we've heard so much about, it's vital we make this collar. Get ready to go off-road, team. No, I don't want us to risk unforeseen driving hazards we might encounter if we leave the highway. I appreciate your input, Optimus, but as leader of the team, I say we make our own road. I know this part of Earth better than you do. Very well, Bumblebee. Stay close, everyone. <laughs> Wait! Hey! No fair! Do you think these wheels are rocket powered? The Lieutenant and Optimus haven't seen eye to eye since your away team returned. They'll figure it out. In the meantime, Windblade and I have become such a phenomenal team within the team we practically don't need anyone else. If by team you mean you get in trouble and I save your chassis, I wouldn't mind a few more teammates personally. Strong arm. While we were away, I thought of some cool combat maneuvers you and I could work on. Really? Me too. We didn't have much time to sharpen our own teamwork before you left. Team within the team, huh? That sounds awesome! Hey, Drift! Wanna be on a team within the team with me? No. He's playing hard to get. We should be getting pretty close to- No! Bumblebee, are you- It was just a rock not an unforeseen driving hazard. We're going into the forest to locate our fugitive. Switch to Bobo. Whoa, glad I'm not the brain warp con who has to face our whole team at once. So spooked. <laughs> you.
catch it. Undertow, careful! I need that! My old friend. But you were gone. Destroyed. The Primes rescued me just before my spark was extinguished. By the motherboard. It's good to see you. Hello, Ratchet. Bumblebee! <laughs> Are any of our other former comrades here on Earth? No. But this is my new team. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the new bot on the team. I'm the... You feel like pitching in? And that's how we came here, what we know about Decepticon Island, and who we've punched since we've been here. Does that all make sense? Sure. Seriously? Well, what about you, Ratchet? What brought you to our neck of the solar system? After we thought Optimus was no more, I joined others helping rebuild Cybertron. Over time, however, I learned they blamed Optimus and those who followed him for the ruination of our world. And they wanted to forget he ever existed. That's ridiculous. Optimus's team saved the galaxy. That's what I tried to tell them. In response, I was given a job tracking down war criminals. Undertone here became my partner. Essentially, you were banished. Exactly. But it was better than imprisonment which I feared might be my fate if I protested. That will be all under tongue. He's the strong, silent type. Kind of like me. Huh? I've caught many fugitives, but this one took me years to corner, and the chase brought me to Earth. As I was wrapping up, I ran across your clampdown, and then, happily, all of you. It is good to have you by my side once more, Ratchet. Will you stay to help me uncover the truth about this Decepticon Island? Yes. As team leader, I agree. We'd be lucky to have you with us. Thank you. I'd be happy to assist. Great. Drift, Sideswipe, let's wake up Clampdown and see if he can get us some intel about Decepticon Island. Everyone else, at ease. Permission to speak, sir? Go ahead, cadet. I couldn't help but notice you and Optimus Prime don't seem to be on the same screen. <sighs> Optimus and I had this whole conversation about who leads this team a long time ago. I remember. Sometimes it feels like he can't help treating me like I'm still his scout. I, mean, I don't want to wonder what Optimus thinks or would do every time I make a decision. And I don't want to keep countermanding him. It could cost us in the field. I'm sure this is an adjustment for Optimus, Lieutenant. I know. Maybe you should take him aside. See if you can work it out. Just the two of you. Good suggestion, strong arm. I'll look for the chance to do just that. Old googly eyes is coming around, B. Good. Bring him to the command center. We'll question him there. <laughs> Talk, clamp down. What is Decepticon Island? Where is it located? How many Decepticons are there? What is their objective? Is Steeljaw involved somehow? <sighs> Those two took my questions! <laughs> <laughs> you see, I... <laughs> He's out! Just like all the others you questioned. <sighs> if we don't catch a break soon... Unidentified Cybertronian life form approaching the front gate. Hit it, Denny. Huh? Help me, please. Solus Prime! I can't believe you
you know flowchart, schematic, and rundown. Of course, we all received our upgrades together. <laughs> what a small universe. I hate to interrupt the reunion, but you were gonna tell us where you came from. Toolbox, was it? Like Fixit, I was a caretaker and prison guard aboard the Alchemor. <gasps> then there was more to the ship than what was around me when I flashed. Trashed! <laughs> Crashed here! And more Decepticon prisoners? Many more. Your section of the Alchemor broke off the main vessel as it plummeted through this planet's atmosphere. The remainder of the craft crashed just off the coast of what humans call Crown City. How does a giant spaceship crash into a bay without anyone noticing? Prison ships are continuously cloaked to keep them from attack by raiders looking to free criminal associates. I remember now. They're also cloaked to keep from agitating native populations when the ships need to land and resupply. Human meteorologists would have explained any giant waves caused by the splashdown as strange weather phenomena. The ship still sits in the water just beyond shore. Decepticon Island. In the chaos that followed our crash, our prisoners escaped and overthrew my fellow Minicons. They fitted us with inhibitor collars so we couldn't transform or access our built-in weapons. And they made us their slaves. <gasps> Minicons live to serve, but that's horror, 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 horrible! Three Decepticons took charge. Saberhorn, Glowstrike, and Scorponok. They've been sending Decepticons onto the mainland to gather parts and fuel. They intend to fix the Alchemor so it can leave Earth and they can plunder the galaxy. They're almost ready. How'd you find us, little guy? I heard our Decepticon overseers mention Autobots close by. I took a chance and managed to escape. We must free the rest of the Minicons and put Glowstrike, Saberhorn, Scorponok, and the other Decepticons back in stasis, where they belong. Not Scorponok. We've already caught him. There's a new member of the leadership trio, a newcomer. He resembles an Earth Wolf. Steeljaw. Another good reason to wrap up this Decepticon Island situation quickly. You summoned us, Steeljaw? We do not respond well to being summoned, good fellow. And it appears you're no closer to getting those Decepticon hunters. Ah, but appearances can be... ...deceiving. <gasps> Steeljaw, you did it! Well done, chap! With those, we shan't have to worry about rebellion in our ranks ever again. Here now, hand them over. Ah, that feels so much better. Simply a matter of finding the correct sonic frequency to disrupt the locking mechanism. I have the plan. My teamy and I will catapult onto the island and start marching. One problem with that, Grim. I am not your teamy. Okay, two problems. The second is that as powerful as you and Drift might be together, as powerful as we all are together, we're no match for hundreds of Decepticons in a straight-up fight. So we call Cybertron for backup. Think about it, Slick. Reinforcements would take too long to assemble, brief, and coordinate for an assault on the island. Yeah, think about it. Then it's just us. What can we do against all those Decepticons? Even if we were to somehow subdue every fugitive, we do not have enough stasis parts to contain them. Maybe not, but we do have cryogas and lots of it. The canisters we brought back from my supply stash. If there was some way to disperse the gas throughout the entire island at once, that might solve all our problems. Exactly. It should be possible to create a stasis bomb that when detonated would incapacitate any Decepticon within range. Like a roach bomb? Precisely. All we need is a sturdy vessel in which to hold the compressed gas. I shall assist Windblade and Ratchet in the construction of the bomb. The rest of you, form a plan for getting the weapon onto the island and detonating it. That's what I was about to. Toolbox, please brief everyone about the layout and specifics of Decepticon Island. Sir, you can't let this keep eating at you. Talk to him. Things are moving too fast right now, Strongarm. I will when there's time. Will this serve, Windblade? It's probably too small to handle all of the cryogas. Bumblebee has come a long way since the last time I saw him. He has led his team well. I sense there is a bot coming. 
But I worry Bumblebee is not ready to lead a team this size on a mission of this magnitude. And now that I am restored to the strength level I had before, the Primes lent me their power. You feel you should lead? I do not wish to disrespect my former scout. Optimus, you would be a valuable counselor to any already established leader. I am not sure I should step back into such a role with so much hanging in the balance. Perhaps these are suitable containers. I shall ask Gwynblade. Perhaps detonating the stasis bomb above the island. The wind is too unpredictable. Toolbox, is there any kind of ventilation hub within the ship? Affirmative. Right here, sir. Good. We'll smuggle the bomb into the island and place it in the hub. We'll set the bomb on a timer and get off the island before it detonates. You would risk the entire team? We'll all go to make sure whoever's carrying the bomb reaches the hub and sets it properly. And if it... We will deal with any obstacles or resistance when the time comes. Awkward. Some weather we're having, huh? Yeah. Um, here's a real question. How do we sneak almost a dozen bots onto Decepticon Island? Oh. We won't sneak. We'll just walk onto the island. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think I'll like it. <sighs> hey, if you want, you can be teamies with me and Drift. Please stop calling us that. He's coming around. about this toolbox? The Alchemore is right out there. Then, let us begin our mission. Autobots, let's rev up and roll out. Remember, we want any sentries to think we're unconscious and not a threat. So close your eyes and stay still. It doesn't seem right, not going when my fellow Minicons need help. The team need you here fix it, in case anything goes wrong. A handful of Autobots against hundreds of Decepticons. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? For. Attention, approaching craft. We are reading your Decepticon tracking signal, but we cannot identify you. State your name and business or be destroyed. You're returning from a mission with Autobot prisoners, and your Decepticon tracker was damaged in the fight. Yeah, hi. I'm coming back from a mission with Autobot prisoners? I guess my signal was damaged in the fight. <laughs> Sorry about that. Decepticon Island! This is quite a haul of prisoners. 
I can't believe one Dinobot captured so many Autobots, including Optimus Prime. How in the name of Megatron's pistons were you able to go? Bet you want to be my teamy now, don't you? <sighs> By the primes. There's so many of them. hub and set the stasis bomb. Why are we stopping? Toolbox, you've returned! Autobot intruders in Cargo Bay 17! Strong arm! On it, sir! Ah! Collect the Minicons! No, we have to keep moving! We cannot leave them here to- Stop treating me like a- Optimus! Bumblebee! Defend yourselves! We're not going down without a fight! I wouldn't recommend fighting, Lieutenant. It would be so futile. Steeljaw. Welcome, old friends, at last. To the first outpost of my new Decepticon Empire. <laughs>